Here we go. Time capsule. Take one. It's going to do some rough notes. going to play. going to play. I recorded an 11 second video four years ago. Doesn't seem like a big deal. But that video has now changed the trajectory of my life, my career, my family, my relationships from an 11 second video. Just like that. What, was it a trip to the moon? Did I, was I hand gliding from three kilometers up? No. No, it was a video of my 10 year old son recording an audio book from the book that we wrote together. <laughs> I know, you think, why is that such a big deal? Well, let's get a couple facts in line here. First of all, he was 10 years old. If it's four years later, that means he's now 14. He can never be 10 again. We wrote a book together. We've written a few books since, but we wrote that book at that time, in that year, when he was that age, he spent those 11 seconds, there were several minutes, recording that book. I have it recorded. So what also happened was that we created something together. We went from nothing to something. And the difference between those two is creativity, is creating something, is making something, doing something, taking action. Now, I know that this seems probably very simple, yet it's one of those things where, you know, some parents might look back and say, oh, that was my dear boy. You were so sweet. I'll never be that sweet again. Now, I mean, you know, whereas I look back and I say, oh, he was so sweet. I'll never be that age again. Yeah, so that happened. Huh. So ever since we wrote that book together, and by the way, it was with the two boys, but I've got the older boy on the, on the recording there, so it, it, it comes back viscerally. I can't let it go. Him recording in a sweet little voice. It'll, it'll never happen again. So I created, actually, we created a time capsule. Now, if you're not familiar with the term time capsule, time capsule is, is a thing where you take elements of the present day, you know, things from society, from culture, from that you think might be historical, you put them in this box and you bury it and somebody will find it in the future. Well, of course, in this case, I don't need to bury anything. It's just I need to record something. And it doesn't need to be video. I need to make something at that time to finish that I will then have as a relic, as a marker of that point in time. Now, I am a writer. I chose to write a book. Together with my two boys, we wrote a book, a very short book. The book's okay. <laughs> the book doesn't win any awards, but that wasn't my point. My point was to create something, finish it, and have that element be that time capsule for that period in time. Now you might think, oh come on, we have, we have photos, we have photo albums, and we have videos on the phone. And that's good, there's nothing wrong with that. But what we did was co-create. We worked on a project together, we finished it, and had a project. We had a book that we wrote together at that time. Now, at that time, I didn't really know a whole lot about you know, writing novels. I didn't know so much about publishing or marketing any books, but none of that mattered. My goal was not to win awards. It was not to 
acclaim, fame, and fortune. It was to work together with a younger person and finish something that later we could say, we did that. People were asking, what are you working on? I'm working on that. There were people who said, well, I'm not the type of person who would do something like that. Well, before I did it, I was the type of person who said, I am also not the type of person to do something like that until I did something like that. I took action. We took action together. We took action, we recorded it for posterity's sake, and we had a finished product. Now you think, well, I do this all the time in my company. We make products and we have services and we finish client projects and I do this all the time. And I agree you do. And working together with your colleagues is an important part of your work and career and your development. But this is different. This is family or this is an adult and a child. And what I'm really looking for is to build that relationship. That is now something we have in common. That is something we did together back then, at that time, so we can look back and say, remember when we did that? Even better would be if I did it every year. I said, remember when we did that when you were 11, then when you were 12, then when you were 13, 14, 14, 15, 16, 17? Imagine the progress or decline. <laughs> uh, and the history you have built together. This is now what I'm working on because that time was so important for me that I want to share it with others. So right now, I have a workshop where I'm bringing together an adult of some kind, a child of some kind, doesn't need to be father, son, uncle, niece, could be neighbor and neighbor kid. And we are going to write a short book together in a month to create a time capsule and to build a bond between two people who created something from nothing. That's what I'm doing. See, I'm doing on time. I have no idea. It's not telling me. I hope I'm recording this.